Addressing genuine concerns about the competence of those in power is vital, especially in our complex and uncertain world. I mean, we've had it observed so often that the ranking member and Mr. Schiff on this committee have said that he could no longer continue as a candidate. And so since you're the FBI director, I was just sort of wondering, like, who's running the country? Like, if something, if something, yeah, so yes. if, if something bad happened, you'd have to go brief President Biden about it right now? God forbid. And I, on any number of occasions, I have briefed the president. And as I said, those briefings have all been uneventful and unremarkable. Well, I, I, I can imagine them being uneventful. Um, the, but but in, in the work where the vice president's also present, like you say, there's like more than half the time there's these briefings, she's there too? I don't know if I'd said more than half the time. Certainly there have been times where she's been present. There have been other times where she hasn't. I take you at your word when you say this is the most complicated threat environment you've ever observed over a long career in law enforcement. And I'm just kind of wondering, with this assassination attempt, with the invasion at our border, with all the Hamas that have been let in that you've talked about and briefed about, like, is Biden up to it? And if he's not up to it, and you're a guy who's been regularly briefing him, like, who, who's been in on this conspiracy to hide the real Joe Biden from all of us for years? It, it never occurred to you that this guy wasn't up to it in all these briefings you did? As I said, my briefings with the president have all been completely fine. Uh, Were they between brief, 10 a.m. and 4 p.m.? He's questions. There hasn't been anything of note in the area that you're talking about. Repu's Matt Geitz's questioning of FBI Director Christopher Wray brings forth serious concerns about Joe Biden's leadership abilities. Geitz's line of inquiry can be seen as an attempt to expose perceived weaknesses in the current administration, particularly highlighting doubts about Biden's mental and physical capabilities. His questions underscore the need for accountability and transparency. Touching on themes of authenticity, responsibility, and the human condition. Geitz's relentless questioning seeks to peel back the bureaucratic and political layers to reveal the true essence of a president's capacity to govern. The anxiety and uncertainty reflected in Geitz's questioning reveal deep-seated concerns about the authenticity of leadership and the existential reality of political power. Authentic and competent leadership is crucial amid the often chaotic nature of modern governance. Geitz's doubts and concerns about Biden's ability are structured to provoke public skepticism, casting shadows over Biden's capability to handle crises. Gates's reference to specific briefings and timeframes, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., implies that Biden's mental acuity may be limited to certain hours, suggesting a potential weakness. This approach taps into fears and uncertainties, crafting a narrative of incompetence. The public reaction to Geitz's questions is likely to be polarized, with supporters and critics divided. Those backing Geitz and those critical of Biden will likely demand a re-evaluation of Biden's fitness for office, or 